welcome back to my YouTube channel. Long time no see, long time no talk. It's, I've just been chilling the last uh, two weeks or so. I don't even know how many weeks it's been since I've uploaded, but I'm just taking some, some time. Plus there was a little uh, COVID exposure incident. So, you know, I was just chilling at home for a little while, but I am here to change things, change my life, live my lifestyle. So I feel like a fraud, a phony, a fake, because here I am, I'm supposed to be a personal trainer. I talk about health and fitness on this channel and I feel like I don't really live it. Like I, for the past, like, I don't know, probably since November, I just haven't been on it with my food uh, I just haven't really cared as much about my workouts like I haven't really had good workouts since I did my uh, I did the Kylie Ross 30 day challenge thing I really haven't been on it since then which was in August August till September and you know I just feel like a big fake and phony because I feel like my best days of eating are like usually when I'm recording them and I just need some accountability in my life. I have no sort of accountability. I've got no sort of willpower. I've just been eating whatever, doing whatever. And over this uh, over this winter break, I've gained like 10 pounds and it's kind of freaking me out. Not that weight gain's bad, but I don't know. Everyone puts the stigma around the fact that like New Year's, you shouldn't worry about weight, but it's like, I've been, well, except for the 10 pounds that are good, uh, the same weight for like three or four years. I like I hit this peak when I first started working out um, and it's pretty much where I am now I hit a peak and I just stopped dedicating myself to it and you know I had a really unhealthy relationship with food and the, the gym and you know stuff like that so I feel like that's what really caused me to just kind of spiral out of control um, I just I really didn't have the best relationship so I feel like I would sometimes bring back those tendencies and then I would notice my bad habits and I would revert back to like just eating whatever I wanted so I'm trying to find just this healthy balance of not restricting myself so much and just doing better with eating like I want to eat well but I find it so difficult so that's kind of what today's video is all about it's just restarting my health and fitness journey because when I started it before, back in like 2016, it was just for all, I mean, it was for all the right reasons, but I did it completely wrong. And I just want to do this now for the right reasons and, and do it right. And I really just have, it's like, like I said, I think it's okay to have weight goals. Like I have a certain weight that I would like to be. Um, I have just like, yeah, just different physique goals, stuff like that. And I think that's totally fine. So that's what this is all about and uh, I think this is kind of what I'm gonna be doing for the next few months uh, on this channel just like restarting my health and fitness journey like why I fell in love with fitness why I wanted to become a personal trainer and just kind of doing all that obviously I start school in about a week and a half so it's definitely gonna be some school vlogs too but yeah I'm really just trying to focus on a healthy balance lifestyle balance being really the uh, word of the day so I am on my way to the gym now I will record my workout or at least part of it and yeah so I'll see you all there
feel a lot better today. Just like keeping myself accountable by like recording myself. It's very, very helpful. So, I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. And if it gets repetitive and it gets boring, I'm sorry, but I don't think it will. I think this is fun. At least it's fun for me. I just need something, one, to like let out some creativity. Like, I like editing videos. I've always edited videos ever since I was a kid. Like, I remember the first camera that I had, it was like this little green, like, I mean, it was this big, a little green camera, and I can't remember what it's called, but I could, I think it had maybe like five gigabytes of storage. It was like no storage. It was gross. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just finished my workout. So let's see if I can do this. With the one hand, so uh, that's what we're at. I did um, the Stairmaster. So that's like the total. I did the stair supper for, you know, that. And then I did that. And, and like that is what I'm trying to see. I haven't burned that many calories in so long. Like. I just don't push myself in today. I was like, I'm going to push myself. I'm going to do my entire workout. I'm not gonna like make excuses and say like, oh, I was, I'm just tired, I'm tired. Like I can't do anymore, cause I can. And I need to just stop. <laughs> cause like, if I kept up the energy that I had over the summer and like when quarantine first started, um, and like I ate well, I would be the fittest girl in North America. But my thing is, is like, in my mind when I was burning like six, seven, eight hundred calories when I was doing a lot of running and a lot of cardio, um, I was like, well, that means I can eat whatever I want because, you know, that's fine. But it's not fine. Like, you can't eat, I mean, you can eat whatever you want, but I was just like not seeing any results because I was just, you know, doing whatever I wanted and I'm just tired of making excuses I'm tired of blaming things like birth control or uh, you know I convinced myself that I wasn't losing weight because I saw this TikTok that said um, if you have like allergies and your body's in a like constant state of allergic reaction or something that it could cause you to hold on to weight and I was like that must be it and that's why I went to the allergist and like yeah my allergies are bad but it's more so causing just like some puffiness in my face and eyes it's not really causing anything like I don't think it's causing any weight issues um, but I also just want to be clear that I'm not just like trying to lose a bunch of weight I'm just trying to be healthier in like all aspects of life too like school wise I really want to get a better balance uh, sorry about the lighting. We're just gonna have to deal. Um, just a better balance with school. Uh, I was really bad last semester, just like not doing enough. I would say, like I would, um, I would take so many breaks instead of just doing my work straight or like you know studying for a few hours straight. And I was just working all day long into the night, and I wasn't really getting anything done. Like I was, but I wasn't. Um, and it's like I wasn't getting a lot of things around like my apartment done because I would you know I'd claim to not have any time but it was just because I would take so many breaks that like when the break would come I would just want to sit around and like watch YouTube videos and I really don't want to be like that I want to stay on top of my stuff I don't want to wait until the end of the semester and cram study for exams like I really want to get like a 4.0 this semester that'd be my goal because I know it I mean I know it's gonna be a hard semester but I just want to like prove to myself that I can do it because um, I know I can I just don't put any sort of commitment into it I was like I just felt like they babied us so much because of like COVID and I still like didn't do as well as I could have or should have because I was just being lazy and that's really all there is to it like I have just like COVID I feel like has made me so lazy. It made, made me lazy when I was working. It made me lazy in school. I just like transferred the laziness into school. But I've been like really productive I would say over this break, at least like with stuff around my apartment. I've done so much organizing. I've gotten a lot of like organizing things to just like keep my apartment nicer. Cause I mean, it's just such a small space. I'm tired of it being so cluttered. So I'm hoping that, you know, well, not hoping, like my organizing has just like really helped with that. Um, 
I feel like I'm ranting a lot, so yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm going home now. And I have a new smoothie recipe to show, so I will show you when I get home, woo! new smoothie recipe. Step one, a cup. Step one, clean a cup because all my cups are dirty. Um, if we could quickly turn our attention to my little drying rack thing. Uh, it has saved so much space on the counter and it looks so much cleaner besides that little plastic thing that needs to move. But I love it. It's so much easier to do dishes too. Cause I can just like plop it right there and I don't know, something about it just just gives me better energy. I just felt like the drying rack before was just it just looked messy. And like the drying rack towel that you put underneath it so the counter doesn't get all wet. Like I felt like that always looked messy. So okay. This is probably way more steps than it needs to be just due to the fact that my blender isn't very good. It just, it's older. Truthfully, I think my blender just needs a new blade, but that's not something I'm willing to invest in. Like, I would like just like a Vitamix. Also, hi, this is my new plant and I don't know what to do with it. I've been using a mixed fruit, but I just bought new fruit yesterday, so I'm gonna use mango and strawberry. And I'm gonna throw that into this blender because this is the only way that my smoothie isn't chunky. This is so bad because this is just like a little mini blender guy. So I literally blend my fruit and then I blend the rest of the stuff together. Quite ridiculous, I know. And then, okay, I actually haven't used this juice yet. For the smoothie, I use um, orange juice typically, but I'm going to try this juice today because it is my favorite. And uh, it's also just like less calories, less carbs, less everything. So I'm going to see if I like it better or if it tastes the same. And if it does, then I'll keep buying this juice because personally I like it better. Um, yeah, this blender is like super finicky because it won't work if the fruit is like stuck in the blades so you gotta just kind of work with it and three hours later it'll look like this um, but if you have a better blender than I do then this is probably not a problem for you so I don't know as much as I love fruit something about it coming out in chunks just really sets me over the edge and it's just not something that I can um, deal with got the fruit and the juice, and then we add a bunch of spinach, because I personally really like spinach. For whatever reason, my blender doesn't have a problem with spinach, but the fruit, nope, get it. And then we add this. I do like a scoop and a half just for like a little extra protein this is the optimum nutrition gold standard whey protein in french vanilla cream they have a different vanilla uh, i haven't tried that one i've only done this one i don't know what's up i've been in like a vanilla mood because um, usually i'm like a chocolate girl but i don't know vanilla's really been Sitting right with me lately. So the reason that I stopped doing my old protein was with like the chocolate and the banana and the peanut butter. Ah, uh, I liked it at first, but I don't know what it was, but it just started like tasting gross to me. I, it just wasn't. I just stopped liking it like pretty quickly. Whereas this one. I've been drinking for about two weeks, and I think I just like fruity things better. I'm hoping this tastes okay with this juice. Oh yeah, it doesn't really taste any different than when I use orange juice. Honestly, I get more of a pineapple flavor. I don't know if I showed it, but this is um yeah the cran cran pineapple. Cran pineapple is delicious. 
So I really, really think it's the juice that makes it really sweet and like the right consistency and everything for me. So if you don't like sweet, then I guess don't do what I'm doing. If you're wondering, the queen is still enjoying her tower. Um, this is something we will be tackling either today or tomorrow. Uh, so basically the thing is, is we have an outdoor shed, but my boyfriend does this thing like a little side hustle or he sells golf clubs and there's just full of golf clubs. So I am, uh, we're, we're also just really bad at like when something needs to go out there, we just throw it out here and just leave it there. Like a lot of the stuff is just boxes. Like <sighs> that's a box that needs to go. That's a bo well not go, but like just be flattened. That's um, for my record player. So that just needs to be stored. So like when we move, it can go in there. So just being like wherever. That is just like random stuff that probably needs to be thrown away. But you know, like stuff you can't part with. I don't know what's in there. I have no idea. Um, that's a golf club sock thing. And also like these table and chairs need to go, but it looks cute out there when it's not a mess. Like it needs to be swept. Honestly, that's probably gonna be a tomorrow thing because I really don't feel like doing that today. But um, it's 3.40. I'm really trying to listen to my hunger cues and like eat when I'm hungry. And I don't know, I just feel like it's so hard. I feel like you need to do like a some sort of healthy balance between like eating when you should and eating when you're hungry because typically I eat lunch and then I'm not really hungry for dinner but it's like I don't need to be eating dinner at 9 p.m. so I, I, I have like tried try to do a balance with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a shrimp shrimpy meal and so this is into frosting and I'm gonna make I think I'm gonna do like a honey garlic shrimp. That sounds pretty good. But I need to make rice. And I hate making rice. Oh, there's vegetable rice. Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using this. I think I just got this pepper and onion thing. We're going crazy. Ooh, 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 boom. First up in Kale's kitchen, a pan. This pan has seen better days. I did get a really nice set for Christmas. Um, we have vowed not to put that set in the dishwasher. So I'm not trying to get, ruin it. These bad boys are sizzling. I'm gonna brown them on each side. And then I'm gonna throw in this. That's gonna be great. These guys are brown, so we're just gonna do a little scoop-a-doo. I love the peppers and onions. Okay, so I just want to show a little, uh, not a hack, but like a little something something or two somethings that I've been having to kind of like curb some sweet cravings. So I, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm not the biggest sweet gal, but I always crave like I think I talked about it earlier how I'm always like want something more after dinner and this is what's been helping me like no shame in your game if you have dessert um I just like I simply can't keep it around like um if I keep dessert around I'm gonna eat the whole thing like I can't I literally just can't have one or two cookies um I just can't do it the only thing that I've been good with are these muffins and I actually think I'm gonna make them tonight they're protein muffins they're kind of like they kind of remind me of a uh, banana bread, but different ingredients and there's protein added to it, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, these are what's helping me kick, kick the craving. Welcome to my fridge. Um, it's these guys. So these are the sugar-free snack packs in vanilla. And then also these, just like sugar-free jello. Um, yeah, this is, like, literally nothing. Like, it helps just have, like, a sweet treat, but, like, there's nothing in it. The vanilla whatever's the pudding, um, has, like, 
some carbs and stuff, but I just like having these because you can literally have like as many as you want and there's like nothing in it. But I like it just as like a little something something because it's like I like that this is gonna sound weird, but I like that it's solid, like it's not um, a liquid. I don't know, it's like juice doesn't really help with my sweet cravings, like any sort of juice or like protein shakes or anything like that. But since this is solid, I, it kind of just gives me a better, better sweet spot. But the uh, pudding is definitely way better, but I'm just having this cause it's like, I want something, but I'm not really hungry. So I'm trying not to deny myself food, but it's also like, I'm not hungry. So I don't need to be eating a whole meal. And I'll probably start cooking dinner cause it's six o'clock now. I'll probably cook in like 45 minutes or so. So yeah. This is what's helping me. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend. They're super cheap. They're like a dollar at Walmart, so. Okay, it is dinner time. I am making this chicken enchilada skillet thing. Uh, I'll link the recipe. I'm not gonna like show how I make it, but I'll show what it looks like at the end. It's very good, delicious. It's from Skinny Taste. Skinny Taste on TikTok, Pinterest, the cookbook, amazing, wonderful, iconic. Go check it out. All right, everybody, I'm going to end this video here. We had a good dinner. We are happy. Uh, yeah, the dinner's super easy. Like I said, I will link it down below. It's just called the Enchilada Skillet from Skinny Taste. You can find it on Pinterest or probably Google. But it's really good, uh, macro-friendly. I'll uh, insert my macros for the day here-ish uh, so you can kind of see like where I'm at. But yeah, that's it for me. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'm telling you. Uh, if I make it big, maybe I'll be able to make it as big as Whitney Simmons and like I can give out some $10,000 scholarships or something. So like, like and subscribe and you could win a $10,000 scholarship <laughs> in a couple years or something. Um, all jokes aside, like, subscribe. Thank you very much. I will see you all later. Bye.